What is HbA1c? HbA1c shows how much sugar has stuck to your red blood cells the past two to three months. And the optimal range to reduce all cause mortality is five to 5.4 percent. I'm at 5.2 percent. So let's check out how all this works. So here's a clean bloodstream. And in that bloodstream, we have sugar molecules, red blood cells, sugar. So within those red blood cells, we have workers, hemoglobin workers. So they're a little protein that is inside the red blood cell. Your hemoglobin worker inside the red blood cell lives for 120 days. And this is where the average three month blood sugar reading comes in. Never sleeps. And also the worker actually wears a light uniform of sugar dusting. Not too much. And that light sugar coating is low glycation or normal. Your worker also carries a backpack of oxygen and carries that to all your organs, that oxygen backpack. So what we have here is a normal situation with the hemoglobin carrying oxygen to all your organs, has a light coating, just a light coating of sugar, and just lives around three months. Okay, now to the unhealthy HbA1c. Okay, over here we have another bloodstream. We have the red blood cells. But the difference here is we have a fat and protein issue. This time, the worker is very overwhelmed. Because you're eating a diet too high in fat and or protein, so we'll come over to the bloodstream and I'll just put some fat globules. We can make out their protein as well. It starts flooding the bloodstream and guess what happens? The sugar cannot go out of the blood into the cell and the sugar starts to build up in the bloodstream. This is not the sugar's fault. This is excess fat and protein. The sugar just wants to get into your cell and help you help fuel you. Your worker ends up wearing a massive big coat of sugar. Because all of that fat is sludging up the bloodstream, it's keeping the sugar in the blood too long, and then that is coating the hemoglobin. This is the big problem here. This is an unhealthy HbA1c. Lighten the load on your hemoglobin worker by reducing the amount of fat and protein in your diet. And ironically, increase the amount of sugar in your diet, more fruit more carbohydrates.